So I'm Lucy and I'm an ambassador for the Love British Food campaign. I'm also a registered nutritionist and I am never happier than when I am supporting our British farmers. So this June I'm doing a, a shout out for trout. I've got four lovely portion trout fillets here that I picked up from the supermarket this morning. Um, and really quite inexpensive, extremely easy to cook and just bursting with nutrients. In fact, I quite often use fish in a lot of the recipes that I talk about as a nutritionist because it is just so full of goodness in lots of different ways. Um, and actually, as a mother of two um, pretty hungry teenagers in our, in our busy family, I think perhaps one of the reasons that as a nation we don't eat as much fish as we could do is because we just don't have perhaps the confidence to cook it and in actual fact it is so easy to cook and I'm going to show you in a minute how I would cook it just a very quickly very simple recipe um, and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about all the wonderful nutrients. So I'm literally just going to use I've got some um, lovely cold pressed Hill Farm oil rapeseed oil here which um, is farmed up in Suffolk and the great thing about using rapeseed oil when you're frying like this is that it has a really high smoke point so we can heat it up to a really high temperature and it doesn't denature the oil. So now that's nice and sizzling hot I'm just going to pop a couple of the trout fillets in and I'm just going to put them flush side down literally just leave them like that for three minutes and then after three minutes I'm just going to flip them over that beautiful pink flesh just looking really tempting and then just do another three minutes on that side and then that's literally all it takes to cook them and then what I do I'm just going to pop them on the plate but then because some of the lovely oils that are in the fish will have leaked out into this rapeseed oil I'm just going to add a little bit of butter to the oil the, the mixture of fish oil and rapeseed oil that's in the pan And then I'm just going to add a little bit of lemon juice in there. Oh, there's a few bits going in there too. And I'm just going to season that with some salt and also some pepper. And swirl that around and actually that I'm then going to use to pour on top of the fish just before I serve it to make it taste really good. So I've got some really lovely potato salad that I made earlier. That's just um, some lovely British potatoes. I mixed in some horseradish because it's um, so easy to get instant flavour and actually tastes really good with the trout. And then I've just put some cooked frozen peas in there as well, which um, always are really helpful just to have in the freezer. So then what I would do, I'm just showing you what I, how I would just create one portion. So I just take the trout that we've just cooked, pop it on there with that lovely potato salad, and then that buttery rapeseed oil, lemony mix that we did at the end, I'm just gonna pour that over everything. And actually another very humble British leaf that is lovely with trout is just watercress. Um, so I'm just going to pop a little bit of that over there. And that is literally it. That took me about five minutes to cook the trout and it tastes really, really great. So I said I was going to just tell you about some of the um, health benefits of fish. I'm just going to add a little bit of lemon to that dish as I do that. But the first thing that's so obvious is that it's got this lovely pink colour, just really pink fleshy fish. 
and that is due to the antioxidant that's in it and that antioxidant is called astaxanthin and um, astaxanthin we make into vitamin A and vitamin A we need for our immune system particularly for the uh, what we call the barrier immune system which are the cells lining our airways and the delicate lining of our intestine where the immune cells are present in their locations that's one really important um, function of vitamin A and also of course for really healthy vision. Um, now the other thing about astaxanthin being an antioxidant, I think we all hear that word and we're never actually quite sure what it means, but every day, all the time, our body cells are subject to damage and that is in effect the process of ageing. So anything we can do to repair cell damage is really beneficial and helps to protect us against long-term disease as well. So we make our own antioxidants which repair that ongoing everyday cell damage. Um, but it's also useful to have foods with natural antioxidants in them to boost our own natural detox. So that's another um, great thing about the antioxidant in trout, uh, that it helps um, repair any cell damage as well. Um, and then um, I think the thing that most people know about fish is its omega-3 level. Uh, now interestingly, um, the omega-3 in fish, there's two particular types of omega-3 which are really important for us and they are abbreviated to DHA and EPA. And DHA is, um, makes up about 60% actually of the fat that's in our brain uh, tissue and so it's actually really important uh, during pregnancy for the correct brain development of babies. Um, and in fact, uh, trout is a low mercury fish, so uh, really great in pregnancy, perfectly fine to have it uh, once a week. And also during breastfeeding as well, there's a, there's a high demand um, for the, the DHA omega-3 from fish during um, breastfeeding too, for the ongoing development of the baby. But the other type of omega-3 oil that I mentioned is EPA, and it is in all our cell membranes um, and therefore it helps cells to function properly. So in something like the immune system where there's lots of different cells with many different functions, really important that um, we're, we're having enough EPA omega-3 uh, for that to function properly. And then another area where that EPA is really important is the lining of the um, blood vessels. Those cells there, the, uh, the more of that EPA omega-3 we can eat, the healthier the cells that line the walls of our blood vessels and it makes them very elastic which um, helps to protect us against any blood pressure problems, um, heart disease, stroke, uh, that sort of thing longer term. Um, and then omega-3 generally fantastic anti-inflammatory function as well which is really important. So um, that's all I really want to say about the omega-3 in fish. The, an interesting thing to note, of course, is that we can also get omega-3 from plants. It's just that we're not nearly as efficient at using the omega-3 in plants. We have to convert it in our bodies first into those two specific types that I talked about, and that isn't a very efficient pro process, so we need a lot more omega-3 from plants. Um, whereas in fish it's right there when we eat it. Now the other thing that's great about oily fish at the moment in particular is fish is about the only food that is a reasonably good source of vitamin D. So 95% of our vitamin D actually comes from the action of the sun on our skin and of course we've had lots of lovely sun recently so that's not a problem but over the winter months when we are not exposed to the sun very much um, eating foods like oily fish which are rich in vitamin D becomes really really important as a source of vitamin D and of course vitamin D great for healthy bones but also we're beginning to um, find out through science that vitamin D also uh, has an important role in our immune system as well. Now um, fish is also a great source of protein uh, so really important during growth but also um, over 65, what tends to happen is in our more senior years, um, unfortunately just a very natural process where we start to lose muscle strength and that process is called sarcopenia 
and so we need to really eat foods that are rich in high quality protein to try and maintain that muscle strength and fish certainly provides a source of complete protein so it has every single building block of protein every single amino acid that our bodies require and of course really nice and easy to eat as well um, so it's also a really good source of vitamin b12 um, which again uh, in more senior years our vitamin b12 um, absorption tends to drop off a little bit again it's a, just a natural phenomenon we become less able to absorb it so eating foods that are a good source of vitamin B12 to prevent uh, anemia uh, and any neurological problems are um, really important too. And another nutrient that I quite like to mention is iodine because um, it's becoming evident that actually in the UK we generally have very low um, levels of iodine intake and actually iodine Obviously we need it to keep our thyroid gland functioning properly, but it's also um, really important to make sure that uh, in the years leading up to pregnancy that our iodine supplies are really um, where they should be because iodine is also very important for the developing brain of an unborn baby. So um, again, to be eating um, foods like fish, dairy is another food which is also high in iodine. Um, if we can really increase the intake, particularly in teenage years, and build up our iodine stores, um, then that potentially is really beneficial during pregnancy. So um, really fish, particularly this wonderfully pink uh, British trout, so many reasons why it's so good uh, for many different age groups. Um, and I'm not surprising then that I'm, I'm always going on about it uh, as a nutritionist. Interestingly, there's also some um, science that's coming to light that is connecting the uh, levels of omega-3 in fish uh, with mental health, and uh, it'll be interesting to find out more about that. Um, so I hope I have tempted you all to go out and uh, buy some British trout this June, enjoy it on all those summer barbecues. Um, loads of other ways to enjoy it too, of course. In fact, if you're really not a fish fan um, when it comes to eating it, uh, we can now all go angling. So why not enjoy trout in that way as well and just go and um, take up angling and enjoy fishing for trout. But um, let's support our British trout farmers this June.